you to draw seven red lines, all of them strictly perpendicular, some with green ink and some with transparent. Can you do that? No, I'm afraid... Let's not rush into any hasty answers, Anderson. Uh, the task has been set and needs to be carried out. At the end of the day, you are an expert. The term red line implies the colour of the line to be red. To draw a red line with green ink is... Well, if it's not exactly impossible, it's pretty close to being impossible. What does that even mean? Impossible? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it is possible there are some people, say, suffering from colour blindness, for whom the colour of the lines doesn't really make a difference. But I'm quite sure that the target audience of your project doesn't consist solely of such people. <laughs> so in principle, this is possible? I'll simplify. A line as such can be drawn with absolutely any ink, but if you want to get a red line, you need to use red ink. What if we draw them with blue ink? Mm, mm. It still won't work. If you use blue ink, you'll get blue lines. And what exactly did you mean when you talked about the transparent ink? Mm, how to better explain? I'm sure you know what transparent means. Uh, yes, I do. And what a red line means. I hope I don't need to explain to you. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but you need to draw a red line with transparent ink. Do you describe what you imagine the end result would look like? Oh, come on, Anderson, what have we got here? Kindergarten? No, I'm just trying to no. get a Let's plan. not waste our time with these unproductive quarrels. The task has been set, the task is plain and clear. Now, if you have any specific questions, then go ahead. You're the expert here. All right, let's leave aside the colour for the moment. Uh, you had something there also relating to perpendicularity. Seven lines, all strictly perpendicular. To what? Um to everything amongst themselves. I assume you know what perpendicular lines are like. Of course he does. He's an expert. Two lines can be perpendicular. 